<laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Stars Tonight. We are joined by the director of J. Cab Pitcher's latest thriller film, Sprint, by Jack Whitby. Welcome to the show, Jack. Thank you for having me. Tonight, Jack, I must ask you a very general question about the audience for your thriller film. What would be the audience for your media film or product? So, uh, the target audience, we wanted the film to, uh, like our target audience, we wanted to have like a range of ages, so like those people could come and see it. So we set we set the target audience at like a, a twelve to a sort of a high age twelve to twenty one years of age. So the certificate of the film would be a twelve A. So what do you think it's twelve A? And so why did you decide to have this certificate rating of twelve A? Well, uh, we decided to put the certificate low because uh, it allowed younger audiences to come and see the film with their parents. So uh, and no, the film does not the film does not have much gore or foul language in it. Um, the film is very mature. And we'll kind of ha have that transaction where uh, the younger individuals, like pe uh, children younger than the age of 12, uh, will be able to stop, start watching more live action thriller films and then getting out of that kind of cartoon age where they just watch cartoon films. And it kind of brings them into the world of uh, more films for them to see live action. Uh, it also allows the adults who want to see the film to be able to bring their kids along so they can have uh, parent and childhood bonding time and they don't have to call the childminder. So you also have to do a lot of research into this audience, as it's quite different to you this time. So what sort of research did you like when you were investigating into this? What did you do? Well, in the early stages of development, we decided to uh, start by asking people at a range of ages very general questions about thriller conventions. So in the early stages of development, uh, we decided to ask a range of ages, uh, some which are not even our target audience. So we went for people... Uh, younger than 12, we also some, asked some people that were older than uh, in their 40s and 50s to see what they thought uh, they expected from a thriller film. So we just wanted to get a feel of for what types of conventions people uh, expect from a thriller film and what people want to see in a thriller film. All right, so we've also got a little clip of the film. Here it is. Yep, okay. Excuse me, can I just ask you a question for my media thriller film, please? Of course you can. So the question I'm going to ask you is. Uh, it's typical convention music. When you think of a thriller film, what type of music do you think of? Uh, in a thriller film, I um, think the music is very intense and it adds feel to the, the, the film, especially when there's a chase happening or something mad's going to happen. Um, like in the movie Psycho, when somebody's going to die. Um, music also sets the feel, um, sort of like the scenes, the thrillers and in deep, intense music whether you know something bad or dark is going to happen. Um, you know, if something upbeat happens, you know it's going to be nice and casual. Um, in the filler's opening title sequence, there's um, happy music playing, so it makes you feel like the scene's going to be nice when it follows. OK, I understand what you mean. OK, thank you very much for answering that question for me. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Can I just ask you a question for my thriller uh, mu uh, media film, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Go sure, ahead. thank you. Um, can you just look at the camera for me? Sure. Um, so the question I'm going to ask you is, um, in a typical thriller film, well, in general, who is your favourite character from a thriller film and why? Favourite character would probably have to be Annie Wilkes from, oh, what is it, Midgery? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, she brings, like, a tentacy to a scene and she's like... You're really interested in her character and you're following her and it's just, you know, you don't know what's going to happen with Paul Sheldon and if she's going to hurt him or what. And she almost has like this split personality, you know, okay. like, you know, one minute she might be like really friendly, nice, and then the next just complete psychopath, wouldn't want to go near her. Okay, well, okay, so I'm also going to follow that up by saying, um, oh, so that's your favourite character, what is a typical character in a thriller film to you? I would probably say somewhat strong character with a gun, if anything. Uh, someone who portrays great courage and, you know, when when you think thriller, you think villain who is sick, evil, will do anything to harm the hero and stop them from succeeding. And much like, as I've said in Misery, with Anne Wilkes, do, who will do anything to stop Paul Sheldon, and even if that does mean breaking his feet. Oh God, yeah, I've seen that scene. Okay, well, thank you very much for answering that question for me. Okay, no problem. So, as planning went on, did you make your audience research be more specific to your film itself? Yeah, well, uh, as the production went on, we, we wanted to get a bit more detail about what our target audience actually wanted. Uh, this is why in our modern audience researches, we asked people who were in our target audience range, 
uh, just to see what they thought was uh, what they wanted to see in a specific uh, thriller film. So we asked them a more specific question. Uh, so we asked multiple, uh, we did multiple audience researches on each convention. So this allowed us to show more about what our targets were expecting from the uh, thriller film and what they liked about uh, other thriller films in particular, which we kind of brought into our thriller film. So we've also got another clip here, a bit more up-to-date to the target audience audience that you just put into us here, so let's have a look. What do you think a typical character in a thriller film is, and can you give me any examples? I would say uh, a male, a strong male with a weapon usually, uh, because they usually seem quite intimidating, and they scare the audience and obviously the people in it. And uh, yeah, they're usually quite vicious and uh, quite malicious and try to, I guess, manipulate people into going somewhere and maybe killing them, I guess, because thriller films are like that and they're usually quite gruesome. Can you give any examples of a, a character that you think of when you think of a thriller film? Oh, I would say, I'd say Freddy Krueger maybe, because he has, I, I guess that's a thriller film, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, and because he has the claws and he kills people in lots of different ways because he can shape shift and it's just generally quite intimidating. So you more remember the bad guys in a thriller film more than the yeah, good more, guys. more than good guys. Yeah, definitely. Think of a thriller film. What was a typical character you think of, and could you give any examples? Well, from a thriller film, I always think of uh, somebody like Will Smith um, in the film Focus um, because he's a strong, intelligent male and um, dresses in a suit which gives the impression of power. Um, so what you're saying is uh, a protagonist in a thriller film should be a male lead who is strong rather than a weak female lead. Yes, definitely, yeah. Give a typical costume in a thriller film uh, for a character. Uh, the costume for a protagonist in a thriller film is usually like a suit or something very casual. Um, but as the film, you know, progresses, the character's clothes will either get ripped or get extremely muddy, which um, would show like the scars and the pain that the protagonist is going through. Um, also, the protagonist would usually have uh, a weapon, like a gun, as say a prop, um, which is obviously to fight the pro the antagonist. Antagonist, um, which usually gives the antagonist a disadvantage. Yeah. Thank you very much. What do you think is a typical costume for an antagonist in a thriller film? Probably for an antagonist it would be like probably like smart clothes so they can blend in with like people that are criminals in a way. But also I think maybe like prison clothes because most you know criminals end up in like prison. So a prime example of that would be Dr. Hannibal Lecter from Science of the Lambs. Right, so my final question for you is when filming, did you listen to your target audience? Did you take into the convention into account that they wanted to sort of add it to your film? Well, well of course we did. Uh, we made sure that we kept things in our thriller film that the target audience we were aiming for kept coming back from thriller films and what they liked most about their favourite thriller films. So in the, uh, the character's audience research, which I personally did, uh, that we just watched, um, you can see that the thing they most wanted from their protagonist was that uh, he was a male and that he handled a gun, that he was quite intelligent. So we have both of these in our thriller film as the main protagonist knows how to handle a gun and he actually outsmarts the antagonist by um, uh, when he runs into the bush. Uh, we'll just quick see a quick clip of that. <laughs> So yeah, um, so as you and you can also see for that that the antagonist is big, he's intimidating, and he's powerful, just like they uh, they wanted them uh, to see in a thriller film. Uh, as this makes the protagonist look a bit more vulnerable and has to overcome this threat. Uh, and uh, as we just saw in that clip, he has to he's running, he runs away from uh, the antagonist, and you can clearly see from that chasing that he is at a disadvantage. But because of his intelligence that he has, he managed to outsmart the antagonist and take him down, so uh, you think, from the opening two minutes. Uh, and that was quite similar to the costume, because uh, I, again, did a personal audience research into costume. The audience thought of a protagonist and antagonist to wear suits in the thriller films, typically. Uh, this is why we had our antagonist wearing a suit, because we wanted to create a bit of confusion to his character. He's wearing biker boots, he rides a pair, he's got a helmet on, but he wears a nice casual suit. And as you find out later on in the film, this links to his past with Jason, and that is why Jason has the flashback in the first place. 
Uh, but we also had to incorporate uh, J Jason wearing a suit, and we didn't want him to be wearing a suit when he's running away in this chase scene. So instead, in the flashback, we show him wearing a suit, which makes him look uh, at a high class, high status, and again shows that intelligence that they wanted from his character. And the same with his wife. His wife is also very smartly dressed to show that their life is pretty much perfect until everything starts going wrong. Uh, and it also shows a clear contrast to the chase scene uh, when he's dirt and Jason's dirty, his clothes are all mucky, and you can see that his life is deteriorating. And for the other audience researches into camera shots and music, we also found out a lot more about what our target audience liked about music and, uh, and camera shots, their favourite camera shots from typical thriller films. I know one of them that they used was like a lot of close-ups, you know, sweating uh, for music. They're like intense music that uh, is keeps on going, keeps that thump going, makes you feel more intense when you're watching the scene. Uh, and that's why in, uh, I'll show a clip, um, in our chase scene we had a music that just kept, it was just never stopped, especially in the third act after the flashback. It got a lot more intense when Jason had to run away from uh, uh, the antagonist. Let's just watch a quick clip of that. And there, so we did listen to our target audience because we want this film to be the film that they're looking forward to and we want to make it as uh, enjoyable as possible for everybody. Well, brilliant. Well, your work certainly paid off. I mean, the film looks brilliant myself and I'm really looking forward to watching the whole thing. Well, thanks very much for coming down here, Jack. It's been a pleasure having you. Thank you for having me. And we're just going to end on a short teaser of the film. Look, I'll be up in a minute, okay? I'll meet you up there.